The latest on the, vac the COVID vaccine rollout. Tonight, the state says 3.5 million doses have been administered so far. There was a huge turnout at the new vaccination clinic in Solano County today. As KPIX5's Wilson Walker reports, it's helping to get shots into the county's most vulnerable residents. Wilson? Liz, it is estimated that there are about 1,600 people in this immediate area who are 75 years of age or older. So imagine what it meant when they suddenly came up with 1,400 doses of vaccine. I didn't even know they were doing it. I turned the TV on and seen it. So I said, I better go down and try to get a shot. Carrie Burns was done just like that. Non-stop traffic here today, and it all moved with machine-like precision. Most everyone in and out in about 20 minutes. Pretty good. They're really moving people well. To make it happen, Benicia had to get moving. Like many of the larger clinics, we are now showing you the window of opportunity for this opened very quickly. Uh, we were able to really pull this off in a, a span of five days when we got word from Solano County and mobilized the entire city infrastructure. Uh, Valero Refinery is providing all the lunches today. It, it's just a, a remarkable accomplishment for the entire city. We saw this last week in Rohnert Park and just Saturday in East Palo Alto. Counties are now starting to get more control over their vaccine supplies. That presents the opportunity for these larger clinics, and all of it is starting to add up across the state of California. But as we've come out of that surge, increased our ability, like the train picking up steam. Today, the state's health secretary likened the vaccination effort to an accelerating train. In truth, California has now clawed its way back to the middle of the pack as far as distribution metrics go nationwide. But clinics like this one will certainly go a long way here locally. Everything, the whole process was just as smooth as silk. With this one big lift, almost everyone in this community most at risk will have received at least one shot. We've, we're feeling pretty confident that after today, uh, both for this vaccination and other events, that uh, that entire population will be vaccinated in Venetia. It is so nice to hear a success story. So often we talk about the yeah. issues and the bad things that are going on with this vaccine rollout, Wilson. What else is the state doing to try to distribute even more vaccines? Well, there's talk today about expanding the so-called third parties that can distribute the vaccine. That's more clinics, more health care providers. But we are seeing more of these sort of large, and when we use the word large, we're talking about 1,400 people today. We're seeing, you know, a couple last week with 1,000 to 1,200 people. I think we're going to see a lot of towns see what they did in Benicia today and say, we want to do that. And mm -hmm. by the way, if you're looking for someone to show you how to do it, this was a great example. It really was all hands on deck here. But what do you run into then? You have more towns who want to have 1,400 doses of vaccine, and that brings you right back to the supply problem. So I think we're going to see capacity, which is what we saw here today, bump up in places, and that's going to run into that sort of supply issue that we've been talking about over the last couple of weeks as well. All these things going to push back and forth against each other until we just have a lot more vaccine, Liz. Yeah, but it was a great example to see how you can do it really well, especially for smaller towns like Success Venetia. story. Yeah, it was great. All right, sure. Wilson, thank you.